If you guys don't remember, um, Angela Simpson. Oh my God. She was a very interesting case because an interview of her went up on World Star Hip Hop and it went pretty viral. I was like, hello, are we okay? Her first interview was just really, really wild. Wait, Vito the, the lo-fi for this, Jesus Christ. Terry lives in the area and he gets a new lease on life and he's got a role in the community when he becomes a police informant. And unfortunately, Terry started bragging about being a police informant because he was really excited. He had value, you know, he had, you know, a bigger part in the community. And he happened to mention to Angela Simpson that he was a police informant now. Well, Angela doesn't like snitches. And you guys know, people don't like snitches. Angela lured Terry back to her home under the guise of having sex with him. And in her apartment over the next couple of days, she strapped Terry to a chair. She drove nails into his head. She cut his body. She beat him. She, I mean, I can't get over the nails. She extracted his teeth one by one. I mean, she full on tortured him for a number of days. Afterwards, she disposed of Terry's body in a trash can in the neighborhood. And that was it. So the reason why Angela is such a polarizing kind of person in the true crime community is she put out this interview and people were like, this bitch real as fuck. She's real scary, real scary. And I was like, you know what? I swear there's some more interviews of her. This is her. Angela, why? I don't want my, um, my children or the people I consider family to be in a place where there are snitches. Duck down for a I thought she was about to say something like real poignant and then that's what she said. Oh my God, I told y'all, I told y'all. House interview with 33 year old Angela Simpson. Dude, I can't get over that. How did she say one line and it just broke me? Most people, if they're saying something like, I don't want my friends or family or my children to live in a world where there are murderers and unjust people, unholy men roaming the streets. And she said, I don't want my children to live in a world where there are snitches. And I, <laughs> I'm like, the woman accused of mutilating and dismembering Terry Neely. My man and Simpson she says she him. barely knew. He lived down the street in an assisted living home, but often and rode around in his motorized him. wheelchair. A man Simpson considered a snitch. He told on a righteous person years ago. So, and so, he, he told me that. So what did he do? What did you do to him? I killed him. How'd you do it? I beat him to death. For how long? Oh. How long did I beat him? 45 minutes, hour. He was there for three days, right? Yes. What did you do during that time? Well, I, I killed him and cut him up. Oh my God, dude. How did she, I've never heard anybody deliver like this. And, and the last time that I watched this video, it, you know, I, I kind of, I was trying to figure out how does she answer like this? What What is this driven by, right? It seems to me as though Angela Simpson has a moral code that she believes is true and fair and she will not deviate from it. There is nothing, like, her moral code differs from society and she operates purely on that. <laughs> Killing is okay if the person is bad. Snitches, bad, you know? And then she said he told on a righteous person. She's got some kind of, like, code, you know? Where, where it happened? We went to the vacant apartment. What if her kid snitched? And took an exclusive look inside, inside the murder scene. You see the carpets all been pulled up. We found the carpets ripped and bleach. Simpson this says she used to scene? clean the blood after hammering a three inch nail into Nilly's brain. Did you pull out his teeth? Did you put a, a hammer into his head, put a nail in his brain? Yes. Was he alive? Alive <laughs> during this? Some of it. Was he watching, looking at a mirror? Yes. Why'd you do that? because I wanted him to see what he deserved. She, she says she made, made him, him face it through this. While he was strapped into this chair, having his teeth pulled out and a nail drilled into his head. I, I see some y'all in here in chat being like, oh, she a gangster. Bro, what the fuck? She was drilling, not even drilling. She was hammering a three inch nail into this man's head while he was alive, while he sat in front of a mirror and she made him watch. I don't... Angela, is this the first time you've done this? No. It's not the first time. What else have you done? That's not. But you've killed other people? Well, they'll find that out. Okay. Will you admit that you've killed other people? Well, yes. 
You've killed other people. How many? That's irrelevant. Why did you kill them? I don't know. Same reason. While Simpson doesn't consider herself a serial killer, she claims she's killed a few. I believe informants and child molesters should be killed, period. As for Neil Lee, she wait, tells him. Wait, informants and child molesters. But how you going to find out who's a child molester if the child don't tell you? If I had that happen to me, I, I would not tell Angela out of fear of what was going to happen to me. You know what I mean? Now, child molesters. Okay. Damn. Bro, that would be terrifying. That would be, yo, oh my God, you know what? Never mind, never mind. So she lured him inside offering drugs and sex. Then yeah, after three days of torture, like, dumped right, his burnt body in this trash can. And when police tracked it back to Simpson, she was already in jail, accused of an armed robbery the day after the murder. And her reaction? Kind of relieved, actually. Why relieved? Well, because finally. Finally what? <laughs> no, I just, um... Finally, they caught you? Yes. Because you've been doing this for a while? <laughs> yeah. For how long? A while. Simpson oh. admits she takes medication and might be considered mentally ill. You think something's wrong with you? <laughs> I think something's wrong with the world that I live in, but um, according to other people, yes, something is wrong with me. As for something being wrong with murdering Terry Neely. Angela, do you feel guilty? Guilty? For ridding the world of a snitch? No, I don't feel guilty. <laughs> He was a person. Simpson wouldn't elaborate on the other murders she claims she's person. committed, but when we asked her what she would want <clears> to <throat> say to the families of the victims, she said, quote, they shouldn't have bred what they bred. Okay, let's watch another Angela Simpson interview. <laughs> uh, let's check this one out for a second. This one is from Lock Up Jail. I saw a still from this that looked pretty staged, but I don't know, you know, Angela seems pretty real. Somebody said, you got that, uh, pig video? You got that pig video? All the inmates we interviewed at the Maricopa County Jail, one in particular, made an equally striking impression on both our crew <laughs> music, and detention bass. staff. Her name is Angela Simpson. At first, I was like, damn, she wearing the same outfit from the last interview, and then I remember she is in jail, and she has one outfit. Simpson, I think, is a very scary individual. <laughs> She's probably the only one in there that I uh, take every precaution in the world oh my uh, God. to make sure my staff and myself are, are safe. I she believe is the one in this whole Stop. jail. Creeps me out. I was the first person on the crew to get introduced to Angela Simpson. And upon meeting her, oh my gosh. the first things that came out of her mouth when I approached her, she pretty much told me to go after myself. For some Dude, if I was meeting Angela Simpson for the first time and I introduced myself to her and her first words to me were, you can go fuck yourself. I would like be surprised, but then also expect that I would experience what I would like to call a wave of emotions, a compound emotion. Just me going through probably like four or five, like all at once. I think I would end on the emotion fear. I think that's where we would, that's where we would stop. I'm gonna ride off the path and be like, hey, go after yourself. I was like, all right, welcome to jail. Somebody say, <laughs> I would say yes, ma'am. is a very scary person. She is, just by the nature of her crimes and the way that she has been here and just her manners and that, she just doesn't have, seem to have a lot of those, um, inhibition controls that most yeah, people the emotion work. wheel just and spin because of that high. she can be very much a threat to staff so we have to keep her in a very controlled setting simpson what? was accused of kidnapping torturing and murdering a man she believed to be a police informant she is then said to have dismembered the corpse set it on fire and to have thrown the remains in a dumpster <laughs> i heard they said i was possessed by the devil i think that's hilarious isn't that beautiful the media Chat, okay, chat, I need you guys to help me out here. Tell me, why does she scare you so much? Does she ever blink? Nah, she ain't human. Um, did you... <laughs> oh my god. She loves the attention. Yeah, I think that's... Dude, I'm at a loss for words. I'm stressed. You know what? We roast killers here a lot. Angela's the person that scared me the most. I've been doing this on this stream for five years on and off and this lady legitimately scares me it just scares me it just scares it's like she has a code she's on a mission and she does not give a fuck about you possessed by the devil 
I think that's hilarious. Isn't that beautiful? The media says you did some pretty heinous things. Does <laughs> that bug you? Does it bug me? What people say? No. My give a f is broke. I really don't. I have no, no concern for what people think. My, my give an F is broke. Girl. <laughs> I told my kids when they were babies they saw a guy behind a Circle K. I told them that's how cops grow. So, uh, yeah. I didn't know that they would the next week go alley and try to grow a cop. That was not my intention, but, yeah. She seems to have a true gang-type mentality. Yeah! Her snitches, get stitches, wind up in ditches. No cop is a good cop. She'll stare you down sometimes, and it's all, you, you get the little hair on the back of your neck now, standing up. Listen to me. I don't know if it was last stream on Friday or if it was the one before this. I didn't tell y'all about this hairstyle. <laughs> In the black community, this is the don't fuck with me hairstyle. This really is. It, it, it's, you know, I don't care to style my hair. I don't care what I look like. But this shit gonna grow. And we gonna braid it up. Okay, I'm so, like, some of y'all know. Some of y'all know. Like, this, this, this is the stay away from me hairstyle. It just is. Sometimes, and it's all, you, you get the little hair on the back of your neck standing up. I've asked God a lot to spontaneously combust officers just to watch them pop. So where does that come from? Where does it come from? Your hatred of cops. Mm, that's not something I'll discuss. Oh. Simpson could face okay. the death penalty for first degree murder. I don't think she cares. The charred, dismembered remains of the victim, who authorities state was not an informant, were Bro, discovered in. Somebody just said, God, detain them, kid. Oh my God. When did this murder happen? 2012. Them damn kids about 15 years old. I just want to say, if you are a descendant of Angela Simpson, I haven't heard any news reports about you and I don't know anything. That's all I'm gonna say. Inside a trash can. He had been stabbed 50 times and showed other signs of torture. Though Simpson has entered a not guilty plea in court. What do you mean? She openly describes some of her actions to us. I have to say, I have never met an inmate who made me so uncomfortable. Me either. What did you do that you would consider torture? Ripped his teeth out. That's my favorite. How'd you do that? With some needle nose pliers. Needle. Kind of rip, you know. <sighs> what made you think of that? What made me think of it? To do that. This is a 100% torture weapon. Hold on, I'm trying to show y'all a picture without it. Stan. Amazon, would you like it delivered to your house right here, Mo? This is what she used to pull his teeth out. This is this is nightmare fuel. If you even approach me with this, I will simply pass out. My soul will leave my body, my brain will atrophy. I will exit. I will absolutely exit. Prior tooth pain. Pretty agonizing. Y'all have never yeah. seen me be scared I of the killer maybe before. I can distribute I that. The victim also had a three-inch nail driven into his head. She is the one in this whole jail that creeps me out for a better word, you know? She just, you know, you just don't know what she's gonna do. Thank you, Miss Simpson. The visceral descriptions that she gave of her crime, of torturing an individual and dismembering her victim, I had never heard anybody describe anything like that. And I had certainly never heard anybody describe it with such glee. Anything I can do to help put a snitch down is my pleasure. So it was your pleasure when you committed this murder? <laughs> See, that's kind of up. I'm thinking, I don't know what, what my lawyer would say if I answered that straight out. Hold on, yes. Yes, it was. But, uh, yeah. It was really extraordinarily disturbing. I still think about it. It's pretty rewarding work. It's great for the soul. What were you trying to get out of it? Okay, so it sounds to me like a cop did something to her or, or a police or, or something, maybe just to her family, and she is just reliving, killing that specific officer over and over and over and over again. Yeah, maybe I cover your eyes. He thought it was just funny that the people me. he had snitched on would never get out of prison, so I wanted him to know how funny it was that they didn't need to. And I guess the strange thing for me was during the whole interview, I was two feet from her. Uh, I was holding a reflector to try to block some stray light. And as she's telling these stories. Can you describe maybe the things you did? No. No, because I'll get all excited and he'll be in trouble. No, I don't think I should do that. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, just he's too close for me to, you know, get all hot with the story. So 
leave that alone. And I just laughed it off thinking it was this big joke. And as she told her story, I realized, well, maybe she wasn't joking. Is it hard to chop up a human body? Nah, not really. Yes, it is! You'd be amazed. Maybe not it's quite for you. Simple, actually. She's got passion, commitment, dedication. It's about drive, it's about power. Maybe, maybe it's not for her. You should try it. It's only a felony six. Knock it down to a misdemeanor. Dismemberment is a, it's a really low charge. Sometimes it seemed like she was playing a game. And then other times you could tell that it wasn't a game anymore, but she was l reciting something that she actually, you know, something that she liked to talk about. Every now and then I would pop in and just go talk to Angela, check in with her. I mean, and a lot of times she if I was safe and secure, I probably also would just pop in and talk, you know, maybe through the door or something like that. But I don't, has she done anything in jail? She would just be sitting there drawing and she would always be in a zen-like state, just very calm while she was sitting here doing her drawings. She told me she'd done some drawings for some Christmas cards and I was expecting to see, you know, something happy or light for some reason, I don't know why. And these drawings ended up being probably some of the most graphic things I've ever seen. Here's one for my brother. I gotta send that. Wait, hold on chat. I need to investigate what these are first. I mean, I guess they're just drawings, but I don't want her. I think it's a drawing of a bunch of cops jerking each other off. And then it says at the bottom, pigs in a blanket. I'm not showing this drawing. You and the I think it is. We know what we are. They know what they are. And what's the, you know? Is she good at drawing? No. You know, That's what made it funnier. <laughs> slightly insulting to them, or slightly threatening? No. Can I show you one that is? What? Maybe it could be threatening, but I didn't mean it that way. This was my first officer down picture. Officer down. That could be rude. You know, but. Oh my God. Not really. That was the caliber of the drawing, just so you guys know, of the other one too. It was about that quality. Illustration. I might make a kid's book or something, you know, for the baby gangsters coming up. Uh, officer baby Down gangsters. series. Tell yeah, me about, about that. Five or six officer well, down. What's happening she in this picture? Not oh. Okay, hold oh, on. They get uncomfortable when they find these things. When I saw Angela's oh. drawings, they you guys were hear so what she disturbing. said? So she's making off like drawings of officers like being killed or like just different things. And she said, I'm hoping they get uncomfortable when they find these things. She's a true sadist. She is a true sadist. Sometimes people get abused by a person that is a literal, it has a literal sadistic personality. So later in life, that same person might adopt sadistic tendencies because it's almost taking control of what happened to them when they were younger. And to me, Angie sounds like she was abused by a sadist, but I don't know for sure. That's just uh, sociological imagination world. And they really got to this, this deep, deep, deep seated hatred that she seems to have for police officers. They use their authority in any way they want to because they can. And there's nothing anybody if can I was brave do about here, I'd be Simpson went on to explain how she ranks those she considers to be the lowest of the lows. Chomos are definitely, definitely beyond any doubt the worst and most vile creatures on the planet. Yes. Snitches then yes. would come in second. Okay. And cops would be third. We, we yeah. agree on the first one. How about people who murder other people? And you guys, you guys remember when I was talking about this, there, there are people that you agree with on some points and not all. We agree with Angela on one point and that's about it. What about them? Where do they fall? And where? In your hierarchy. Of badness? They don't. You want to throw murderers in with cops and chomos? Are you serious? <laughs> You're kidding, right? <laughs> you can't put murderers in a category with f***ed up people. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, Rest assured, if somebody killed a they had a reason to f do it. Uh, you need to be looking at the dead mother not the mother that killed it. What the fuck? Do you have any guilt about any of that stuff? Maybe? Guilt, yes. I'm overrun with remorse. <laughs> um, justice. Justice is lovely. What do 
were you thinking? Um, when I said justice is lovely, what were you thinking? I was thinking is this justice? how you feel about justice if they give you that. That's exactly what I knew you were thinking. <laughs> I'll be thinking the same thing. That justice is beautiful. Justice is lovely. Okay. She's in a jail cell, but she's still there.